Hey Fingsters, let's discuss how does tuple comparison work in Python. Now before we dive into the comparisons, I want to remind you of a couple of very basic concepts regarding tuples. A tuple allows you to store multiple items within a single variable. That is, it is a collection that is ordered and immutable. Also, tuples are heterogeneous as they allow you to store elements that are of different types. For example, if you have a look at this tuple, it has three integers while the last item is a string. Now let's dive into today's discussion. Let's consider that we have couple of tuples by the names tup1 and tup2. Now what according to you could be the output of this program? Here we are trying to compare tuple1 and tuple2 such that we are checking if tuple1 is less than tuple2. So let's go ahead and execute this program. As you can see the output is true. Now you might be wondering when we compared the first elements 4 and 5 it's true. However when we compared the second elements 7 and 6 in that case 7 is definitely not less than 6. So how come we get the result to be true? Now this is because tuples in python are compared on the basis of their position. This means the first item of the first tuple is compared to the first item of the second tuple. As you can see 4 is the first item of tup 1 while 5 is the first item of tup 2. If they are not equal then the first comparison itself is enough to decide the output. That is if you are checking if tuple 1 is less than tuple 2 then the first comparison itself is enough to decide the output. However, if the first elements would have been equal only and only in that case the second elements would be compared to each other. That is it would be seen is 7 less than 6 and in that case the output would have been false. So to further clarify that let's execute our code once again and now as you can see the output is false. Now if in case you are not at all able to understand what's happening here then I will help you with a small trick but please remember this is not a concept that you should keep in mind rather just consider it as a simple trick which will help you to differentiate between two tuples or for that sake compare two tuples. So in ordered comparisons like when you are comparing two tuples do not think of the less than and the greater than signs as smaller than or greater than. Uh, that's confusing I know. So for example if you have a look at the screen generally speaking you would say this is less than while this represents greater than. But when you are comparing tuples do not think of these signs as less than or greater than. Rather treat them as is before and is after. Still confusing isn't it? But now let's have a look at an example. Suppose if I ask you does 45 appear before 56? What would be your answer? That would be definitely true. Similarly if I ask you does 47 appear before 56 in that case what would be your answer definitely it will be true so now you can consider this as a tuple consisting of elements which are 4 and 7 while this tuple has elements 5 and 6 so now can you answer me if I perform this comparison what could be the output based on the trick that we learned now Yes, definitely it will be true. So when we go ahead and execute our code, our output is true. Now I hope things are a little clear. To further clarify things, let us have a look at few scenarios one by one so that we have a firm grip on this concept. So let's say we have couple of tuples. The first tuple has the elements 10 and 20 
while the second tuple has elements 10 and 25. And now we are performing three comparisons. In the first case, we are checking if the first tuple is less than the second tuple. In the second case, we are checking if the first tuple is equal to the second tuple. While in the third case, we are checking if the first tuple appears after the second tuple. So I give you a couple of seconds to guess the answers. Okay, time's up. Now I hope you are ready with the answers. Let's go ahead and execute our code. And as you can see, the answers are true, false and false. And how did that happen? So in the first case, if you see Python checks is 10 less than 10. The answer is definitely no. Then it moves on to the second element within the tuple, which is 20. Is 20 less than 25? Yes, it is. That's why the result is true. Similarly, in the second case, is 10 equal to 10? Yes, it is. But is 20 equal to 25? No, it isn't. That's why the output is false. Similarly, in the last case, is 10 greater than 10? No, it is not. It is equal to 10. So the first comparison itself is enough to determine the output, which is false. Now let's go ahead and compare strings. Suppose you have two tuples. The first tuple has elements X and Y, while the second tuple has elements X and Z. So how do you think this comparison would work? Now, if you remember the trick that I told you, then the solution to this question will not be a big deal for you. Let's see why. Does X appear before X? No, it doesn't. Now, in the second case, does Y appear before Z? Yes, it does. So our output should be true. Let's use a print statement here so that we can differentiate the outputs. Now let's go ahead and execute our code. And as you can see, the output is true. Let's go ahead and look at another example. Suppose you have two tuples such that each tuple contains couple of lists. That is each item within the tuple is a list. Now if you have a look at the two tuples, then you'll find that both the tuples have lists which have similar elements. So what would be the output of this question? Now the solution to this should be quite easy. Let's go ahead and execute our code. And as you can see, it is true. This is because both the tuples have the same element. Now this was quite simple, isn't it? But let's consider a situation wherein you have two tuples such that both the tuples have different number of elements or different number of items within them. And now when you go ahead and compare the two tuples, what do you think would be the output? For example, let's use a print statement and let's check does tuple 1 appear before tuple 2. So what do you think would be the output to this? Let's go ahead and check that. And as you can see, the answer is true. Now to explain this, let's recall our trick once again. If you look at this tuple as a whole, then does 10, 20, 30 appear before 10, 20, 30, 40? Yes, it definitely does. So what do I mean? I mean, does 10, 20, 30 appear before 10, 20, 30, 40? Now the obvious answer to this is true. And thus the solution to our question is also true. Now what do you think would be the output to this question? I just made a small change. Now I am checking if tuple 1 is equal to tuple 2. What do you think would be the answer? Here lies the hint for you. Okay, time's up. Let's go ahead and execute our code. And now, as you can see, the answer is false because definitely tuple one is not equal to tuple two. This brings us to another very important scenario. How would you compare two tuples which have heterogeneous items within them? For example, suppose tuple one has 
10, 20 and 30. However, the first element which is 10 is a string while 20 and 30 are integers. Similarly, in the second case, let's consider that our tuple consists of elements which are 100, 200 and 300. Now what do you think would be the output? Let's go ahead and execute this code. And as you can see, the definite answer is false. Why? Because 10 is not equal to 100 and that's enough to reduce the output and which is false. But what if we try to check if tuple 1 appears before tuple 2? Let's go ahead and execute that. And now as you can see, you have a type error. This means while comparing two tuples that have heterogeneous items, the less than and greater than operators do not work. Now the question here is how do we evaluate or compare the two tuples? In order to do that, you have to use a function known as map, which will help you to convert both the values that are being compared into a similar data type. For example, if you're trying to compare 10 with 100, but 10 is a string. So you have to convert it into an integer and then compare it with 100, which is also an integer and you will then get the output. So how do we do that? Let's have a quick look. We are going to use the map function and now we are going to convert the elements within tuple 1 into integers. That means all the elements will now be represented as integers and then we have to compare the two tuples. So to do that we have to first typecast this to a tuple. So tuple and now our output will be in the form of a tuple and then we will check if tuple 1 which now has all elements in the form of integers appears before tuple 2. Now let's go ahead and execute our code and as you can see the answer is false. I beg your pardon. I said does tuple 1 appear before? No. We actually what we did was we checked does tuple 1 appears after tuple 2 which is false. So if you want to check does tuple 1 appear before tuple 2 then you have to use the less than sign and now the output should be true. Let's go ahead and execute this and as you can see this is true. So that's how you can use the map method to compare heterogeneous elements within two tuples. And just for your convenience I have also mentioned couple of methods that will allow you to compare two tuples in Python using the all method, the zip method and the all method and the map method. Also, if you want to dive deep into each method, then you can click on the links and you will find entire video tutorials along with their articles and you will have a far better understanding of each built-in method that I have mentioned in this article. I will definitely provide the link to this article in the description below. Please have a look at the article and I am quite sure that things will be crystal clear to you. So that's it for this video. Goodbye.